Okay, Scrap and Jenny here. Um, Lydia from Triple Dog, I Triple Dog Dare You on YouTube. Um, I sent her a package or a rack just recently, and um, on one of the paper bags that I sent her, she had a paper flower that I made and put on her page for her pa her bag. So I wanted to show you today on how I made the flower. And this is the flower I made one so I can have it for demonstration. So this is the flower that I made and put it on her rack, or on her package. As you can see, I'm still kind of playing with it, but it makes a nice dimensional flower. And it sits that high, so you can see it. So I'm going to show you how I made this today. Um, what you're going to need, oh, to answer Lydia's question as well, um, the paper that I used on the pat on the bag was our Roxy paper from Close to My Heart, and these are the papers. And this is the one that I used to cover the the paper or her bag, and it, it comes like that. It's not stamped. I didn't stamp it. It's already pre-stamped or pre pre-made and everything. And all I did was cover up her bag, but I did stamp the Love, Laugh, and Live. Uh, that was a stamp set that I put on the bottom. But this is how the paper comes. Because she asked if I stamped it. But I did not stamp it. That's how it comes. Let's see, there's these flowers here. That's how it comes. And these flourishes in here. And this is uh, the Roxy paper, which is X7140B. And it's a level two paper pack. You get all of these pa patterns and then all these cardstocks. This is the front. This is the front, and then this is the back. This is the front, that's the back. This is the front, and this is the back. This zebra print is really pretty. Okay, so I have that. What you're going to need for this project is I used our Art Philosophy Cricut cartridge, and I cut out, pre-cut some flowers that you can't really see because it's on white paper, but I already got um, six flowers on here, but I'm only going to use, um, I'm only going to use five of them. So, um... So I got those, and I cut it out on our Art Philosophy Cricut cartridge off a of page um, 29, and it's this flower down here on the bottom. You would have to hit your shift key to get this flower, and then it's the top key on the right-hand side of your pad. And then the stamp set that I used is this one here, and the item number for this is D1491, and it is called Hooray Bouquet. Um, all these flowers on here are able to be cut out on the Cricut. This is the one that I'm using today. And it gives you the dimension of what size you need to cut it out at, 2 to 3 fourths. So I cut all those flowers out at 2 3 fourths. And then this is our bling that we have from Close to My Heart. This is a larger size. And it's actually a button. And it's just a big, huge bling. Um, and it's a button. Here's the back. There's a couple holes you can see. So I'm using that. And I'm using my uh, roller. You guys probably have a flower roller, but I'm using this. This is an embosser. It's two sizes. And then I'm using, you can use a pencil or something small. I'm using my uh, stick for my gypsy to roll my petals. And then you're going to need some glue dots. And these are the larger size. You can see them, the larger blue dots. And then two colors in your choice. I'm using Tulip today and a cotton candy. And then you're going to need coordinating daubers. So I have that. And then my 3x3 three three block. There's my stick. Okay, so what you're going to do is I already have these cut out on my mat. And I, th I feel, find it easier to cut it and then stamp it. Um, with the you know our all of our papers, not papers, but our uh, cutouts that we can use on our art philosophy. I find it easier to stamp it on the mat so your flower doesn't move around when you're trying to stamp it. <laughs> okay, I brought my helper back. Say hi, Ricky. Hi, Ricky. <laughs> you're silly. <laughs> okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your stamp and we're gonna ink it in the cotton candy first. Okay. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm so 
so we're gonna stamp it. So now we gotta stamp it on the flower. Can you help me push it down? Okay, push. Push. Okay. Let's see if we get it all. There we go. Okay, yeah, let's do another really one. Pretty, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's do one more. No. Wait, 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 wait. Let me line it up first. Okay, push down. Push. Okay, lift it up. There's another one. Okay, now we're going to switch and we're going to go to the red and we're going to tulip. And we will win our day. Yeah. Okay. Nice red. Yeah, it's red. Tulip. Tulip. Flat, like, yep, like the flower. A nice flower. Okay. A red one, though. I'll turn this on this side so I can do the bottom ones. I know a this size button on this when it's a top. Mm -hmm. But that's a button on this is a top. Now I'm offsetting this so I can get second generation and then I'm Go bringing in mom. the and the cotton candy. It's presently heard. I know. Yes. I said that I, what I was doing, honey. So they know what I'm doing. So there. Okay. So now I have three different colors. Now, Ricky, can you help Mommy take these off? Yep. Sure. Pull it off. Very oh. nicely. Yep, pull it off. Pull all the way. Yay! Fishies! Fishies with flowers. Not on your head. Okay, so now you pull these off. Oh, I like this. Okay, can you put in the garbage for mommy? Yeah. Okay, so now I have my flowers. I have this extra one that I don't need. And we're going to take. And cotton candy. Got a tiny in my favorite. Wait, I don't, even, I don't know how to do it now. Hold on, Whoa. Okay, so now I'm going to bring in my dabbers and I'm going to use my cotton candy, which is this one here. And I'm going to dab the top for like a second shade. In the center. And then I'm going to do that to the rest of them. I just want to dim it down a little bit and get rid of the white. Bring it in the second color. Let's see how it does that. So here's the, the before and the after. Sorry, excuse the phone. Just a minute. Okay, so then I'm going to do that with the red as well on the tulip. And the other cotton candy. My helper left because he decided that he was going to play with the ink pad and got ink all over his hands. So he should be back in a little bit. So then all those are inked, and all the centers are inked, and the edges, okay? 
So then what I'm going to do is use my little roller, or you can use your flower roller. I don't know what everyone has, but this is what I use. I just roll up the petals or roll them down. So I just roll them. And I do that to all the flowers. Oh. I'm rolling it. So it looks like that. Okay, and I do that to all of them. I'm going to speed this video up here, this part of the video. So I'll put some music for you guys to listen to. Now I'm going to take my small end of my roller and I'm going to get my, oh, there goes my ATG gun out the window almost. Okay, so then I'm using the smaller, smaller side of my embosser and I'm just doing the centers. this one. Okay, and then I'm going to bring in my glue dots and put a glue dot in the center of all of them. I guess my helper decided that he wasn't going to help no more and left. So it's just me now. Okay, so now I have my glue dots and all of my flowers. You have five petals or five flowers. Okay, and then what I do is I go and I push each petal and I smush it so it's up like that. Just give it a little more help. So I kind of fold the bottom part, like here. I'm just going like that. Okay. Kids are fighting downstairs. The joys of having boys. Father intervened. Okay. Alright, so then what you're going to do is remove the protector sheet of the blue dots. If I can get it to remove. Okay. Of course, it never goes right when you're on video. Okay, so then I'm going to remove this one. Actually, I'm going to glue this one. Let's see. Put this one down. And I offset the petals. So it's offset. And I it pushed it down in the center. And then as I'm pushing them down, I'm lifting up the petals on the sides to do a raised effect. So it's like this. So they're like that. Okay. And then I just keep adding the layers 
of the flower to the center. And again, I'm overlapping and then add the next couple. What is it with these glue dots today? It must be too warm in my room. Okay, so then I put the center one here, put that one down, and then the last one. Well, that one came off nice. Okay. Again, offset it. Okay. Then I'm going to add an extra a second dot in the center. You can use your hot glue gun as well. Um, but for the video, I just wanted to use the glue dots really quick. Which, I should have used my hot glue gun because it would have been easier. But, okay. So, but that's what I used on the last flower I did. And I believe I used the hot glue gun on Lydia's. But what you do then is then you just go around and you lift up your petals. And you just push them in on each side. You go all the way around. And if you want, you can go in and like recurl them. I just pull them all up to the center. But there's my flower. Here's the other one. Okay. And I made a smaller one with that same stamp set, which is this one here. And you just do the same thing. So, there you go. That's how I made the flowers. Thanks for watching, guys. You have a great afternoon.